Hello everyone. Today in this video we will see how to measure the angle of azimuth and altitude of the space object in the night sky. First let's understand what altitude and azimuth means. Suppose you are standing right over here. Right over here. Now this is the north direction. In this direction. This is the north direction. How much you have to move when you are looking at the north direction, at what angle you have to move towards the right side, this angle, this angle, if you are looking at the north, directly at the north, how much you have to move to the right side is called angle of azimuth. And then to point at the space object in the sky, how much you have to come up from the ground, this angle, how much you have to come up, see? How much you have to come up to point this needle to the space object is the angle of altitude. How much you have to go up. So what you do is, first you have to measure this angle which is azimuth and this afterwards, this is altitude going up like this. In this video, we're going to teach you how to make that azimuth altitude angle measuring tool. Firstly, go to our website skullandskill.com, go to astronomy pages, there you can find buttons to download these prints from. We have these prints for you over here. This is for measuring the angle of azimuth. This is a circular plate with angles marked on it. Notice that 0 degrees right over here. Then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. A quarter is completed over here. You can very well see that. This is going to be your north direction. After you have taken this print out, you have to cut this circle out from here, from this page. We already have a circle for you. We have already taken it out for you. So let's put this aside for now. So this circle is what we have right now. And orient it, orient this zero Orient this zero towards the north direction. North direction. You have to keep it like that. In the second print, this is the quadrant that you have to cut out from this page. And this is the marker that you have to take out. This quadrant and this marker. We already have that for you. It would look like this. And what we have done with, the, with it is, we have pasted a stick, a stick which is pointy at one side, a stick to it at one of the edges of this quadrant. We call it a vertical quadrant. At one of the edges we have pasted this stick. So it looks like this. What is the use of it? I'm going to tell you just now. But before that, we also have this marker. We have to stick this marker on this vertical quadrant like this. You take a small piece of any wooden stick which can pass through, just stick it in like this. So this marker can move on this quadrant like this. Now we're going to show you how to use it. It's very simple. You took the printout, took the cutouts, placed this stick on one of the edges of the quadrant and made this marker, stick this marker inside here. There is a hole given inside here so that it moves around on the quadrant like this. Very simple, right? Now how to use it? Take this circle, place it on the floor, obviously outside in the night sky. Have this line this zero degree line pointing towards the north as I am again and again telling you this is the north please be careful of it so this zero degree towards the north pick this up you the, using this pointy end of the stick place it over the circular plate place it over the circular plate like this Now suppose your object, 
sky night sky object is over here accordingly rotate it if you rotate it stop at the particular angle that you think your object is at suppose it's in this direction stop it over here you have your angle of azimuth now you started from 0 degree like this this is the north direction you have to go right so suppose if it is on the left you can also go left but be careful that whatever is angle written over here suppose it's written 320 over here look 320 it's not 320 then it's 10 10 10 10 40 degrees towards the left of north you have to calculate it that way by standard what we do is we calculate towards the right so suppose your angle of azimuth came out to be 40 degrees for the space object that is at 40 degrees towards the right of the north direction you are over here now 40 so you definitely know that your object is in this direction you are able to see it in the night sky at an angle of 40 azimuth now you have to come up like this okay so for that you need a laser have a laser with you switch it on and put it like this over here switch it on switch it on and the light that is coming out of this laser when it points to that object a space object move it accordingly move it according to this the object that is in the night sky move this laser accordingly and wherever the light touches that space object stop there right there now wherever your laser is positioned on this quadrant wherever your laser is positioned on this quadrant move this marker accordingly to that position suppose it's 50 degrees so now you know that your object that you are trying to locate in the night sky is at 40 degrees azimuth and 0 to 50 50 degrees altitude this is the angle of altitude this is how high your object is altitude wise it will look something like this this is 0 degrees then you go to 40 that is azimuth and then this is this is how the vertical will look like 50 degrees you will definitely need a laser for this a small laser will also do any questions please feel free to reach out to us on 9680648958 or write us to skullandskill@gmail.com you have any queries any doubts we'll definitely get back to you and resolve them thank you so much for listening